Yo, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? Anthony's Gaming Show. Hope you guys are excited for more fun. Final Fantasy 14 news. We're going to go ahead and get into it, you guys. It is the final Fan Fest of 2024. They're going to be January 5th. We'll be live streaming the event here on the channel, you guys. So to watch and join in on the fun, please do hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. And we'll be going live about 4 Pacific time. Going, doing a little bit of dailies and hanging out in the game before the performance starts. Let's go ahead and talk about the schedule for the Fan Fest. What happened at the last Fan Fest and points all to the predictions of this fan fest. Let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and start off by saying you guys can watch this if you want, like I said, live with me here on the channel. I'll be live streaming both on YouTube and Twitch, just like the Final Fantasy Company. We'll be having a YouTube stream and a Twitch stream. I'll have links in the description down below for everything. They're also going to be having a cool paid stream if you guys want to do that and get extra to go ahead and watch the stream on Nemico Live, I believe. And you'll be able to be watching both main stage and the secondary stage as well as the special musical performances at the end of each day. So let's get started you guys first off at 5 p.m pacific time we are beginning on the main stage with the keynote this is where most of the information for dawn trail will be told to us next time we'll be going and looking at the opening ceremony for about a 30 minute time frame which is always cool where they say some stuff to look forward to for the future and say thanks next up we'll be getting into the tales of the development side at 8 p.m this will be a nice little area i suppose where the different people of the development team are going to be talking about the different parts and their own stories behind the scenes from the development there will be different presenters like yoshi p there as well as others at 9 30 we'll be starting our crystal 9 30 we'll be starting our crystal trojan presents trivia show where you'll walk through this will be cool you guys nice little trivia show they have a picture of hildebrand and the poly brand here so i think it's really funny we'll be able to see different trivia and walk through the venue to see all the cool different stuff that is there in the physical location it looks like this part is a non co-stream event so i'm not sure if they're just not going to be showing the venue or if we're not supposed to be streaming it so i'll just make sure to be doing the first part of the event for sure live you guys but like i said you guys please do subscribe to the channel hit the bell for the notifications after the walkthrough at 11 30 we'll be going ahead and seeing the gala perform and present the final stage battle for the championship title it'll be ending at 2 30 a.m pacific time with the piano performance once again you can only see that if you are able to buy the paid stream if you do have the paid stream you can also be checking out the secondary stage from 7 30 p.m to 2 a.m to watch the doma mogan stream day two we'll be having starting at sunday january 7th at 5 pacific time we'll be having a 30 minute opening ceremony and then at 5 30 starting with our Panel. Welcome to Nokia's room where we'll be having Yoshi P with different guests talk about the different types of topic. This parts are always fun. At 8 Pacific time, you'll be having the Glamour Collection cosplay show, having the different Warriors White come up on stage and show off the cool cosplays they are intending in. We will be then having at 9.30 to 11.30 a flashback with the cast, a Rome Reborn 10th Anniversary Special Edition, where the different voice actors will be talking about their characters and their most memorable scenes. We'll be then having the live primal performance at 1 30 pacific time you guys so hopefully if you're good the paid stream please do enjoy that now let's go ahead and talk about what was in the last keynote you guys it was super very cool we were able to see how the physical dps job viper officially was announced along with some gorgeous gameplay showing off the different attacks and the way he's going to be performing as well as official art yoshi p even came out dressed up as the main character in the viper cosplay one of the things that I really like about the official artwork is that they're showing it with an aura. And you can see the hood is up and the horns are penetrating through. So I really hope as a Viera player that the hood will be working well with our bunny ears. Uh, it's another thing I'm really hoping that they're gonna be talking about. We'll talk about that a little later on in the predictions sections, but I really hope to see the bunny ears being able to be given more hairstyles and hats. We are also able to do these different areas that we're going to be going to in Tikal, as well as the different dungeons. And it was really cool seeing some of these different scenes. They also talked about the level 100 for some of our gear classes, for the job classes, as well as some land, some of the gathering outfits as well. We were also able to see the key art for the new raids of Final Fantasy XI themed Echoes of Von Dill. Really excited to see also that they announced a collaboration with Final Fantasy 16. So let's go ahead and talk about what I think will be happening here in the new Pan Fan Fest. 
Now that we've seen it announced that there are the two jobs for Dawn Trail expansion, we're gonna be getting our physical and we got our physical DPS job, which is Viper. We now just need to know what our magical range attacker will be. Last time Yoshi P did say that there would be more information coming to us here in Japan. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to see Yoshi P come out on stage once again in this new cosplay. There are a lot of different content creators saying they're different jobs. So we're really excited to see finally what it is. I do know at the end of the MSQ, they did show the little green leaf clover. So this might be hinting towards a green mage or it might just be a big bluff to make everyone kind of like towards the wrong direction. And we should also be getting the release date of 5.55 expansion pass, which will finish the MSQ and give us the Hilda brand weapons finale as well. I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting the dates announced for the Final Fantasy 16 collaboration, um, especially since the first part of the DLC came out for Final Fantasy 16. We will be having part two coming out here real soon, I believe in like February. So hopefully we'll be getting more information about the Final Fantasy 16, The Path Infernal. Really looking forward to being able to get the mount and minion of Torkoal, as well as a cosplay gear of Live. The Rising Tide DLC for 16 in like March or April, and then get the expansion collaboration around that time as well. I think that'd be really cool having them both come out about the same time. As with every expansion comes the pre-order. So hopefully with this keynote, we'll be getting information on where and when we can start doing our pre-orders, what the pre-orders are going to be entailing. I normally get the digital upgraded deluxe edition. That way I can go ahead and get the special little mount emotes and different little things that come with it. I know in previous expansions, they have a collector's edition that will usually come with a giant statue as well as the other pre-mentioned things, the Dawn Trail expansion. So please, you guys have your wallets ready this Saturday just in case you need to drop that money, honey. Like I was saying earlier, hopefully we'll be getting a lot more information on the raids. I know for Dawn Trail, we're going to have them based on Final Fantasy 11. So I'm really interested to see how they're going to incorporate that. I don't know too much about Final Fantasy. Fantasy 11, but it is one of the first MMO games created by Final Fantasy. With every expansion, they usually do in add a new type of alliance tribe. So it'll be interesting to see what new creatures we'll be getting for both the tombstone part and the gathering part, because they're usually two different tribes. We should also be getting information about the female Ruth guard in this expansion. So hopefully they'll be giving us a full mock-up. I really do like how they will also be slimmer and probably not as much hunched over and smaller than the males, but we shall see. Also mentioned that they were going to be making it a lot easier cutting down some quests here and there for the main MSQ and they did mention it's that Final Fantasy 14 will be coming to the Xbox so hopefully we'll be getting more information when that will be coming. Now it's really cool you guys normally they release a little benchmark where you're able to customize and create a new character. Last time with Endwalker they gave us the Viera so that way we were able to customize and create new male mock-up models so hopefully they can do that with the female Viera and then it's cool to see them in the cutscene. We also need to know the different specs and everything that we're going to need for our PCs. So if we need to upgrade anything, I personally will probably be playing on a PlayStation 5. Comment down below if you think that's dumb, but able to stream off my laptop and play the, off the PlayStation so it works pretty well for me. And if you guys don't have a PlayStation or a PC now with the Xbox having access to Final Fantasy 14, it is not better time to get into it. You guys can play all the way up to level 70 and play through the Storm Blood expansion pass. So it's a lot of information and a lot of quests and a lot of wonderful story that you guys can go ahead and get into at no charge. I'm going to be hopefully be doing a lot more Final Fantasy 14 streams here on the channel. Channel. I always like doing the main events like the holiday ones or doing different stuff when I have the time to but oh, I do know that when the time comes for Dontro to come out I will be wanting to take some time off so we can hang out and play the MSQ here. Yeah that's gonna be it for today you guys like I said I will be live streaming Final Fantasy every Friday. I hope you guys enjoy this is going to be the big year for Final Fantasy we in 2024 you guys we have DLC coming out for Final Fantasy 16. We have our expansion for Final Fantasy 14. Rebirth is coming out in just a month and a half for Final Fantasy 7. Comment down below what you guys are most excited for from Final Fantasy from this year. I will be live streaming like I said, so I hopefully will see you guys this weekend. If you guys would like to check that out, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for the notifications. That way you know when we go live. I'm also live streaming Final Fantasy games every Friday. We have our Final Fantasy Fridays. We're going to be playing Final Fantasy Remake, getting ready for Final Fantasy Rebirth. We are currently going to be playing Chapter 14, so we are almost done with our first playthrough and we're trying to platinum the game. So after this, there's still more remake to play. 
after that will be the Crisis Core getting ready for Rebirth and then the Pixel Collection after that. So until then, y'all have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. And you guys have a shell-tastic day. Stay strong, Shell Squad. Bye-bye.